Howdy, this is Jay Shell for EUG and AODL. Welcome back to my channel of various things, keeping this old hermit alive. This is a photography one. Today I want to talk about the TT Artisan 25mm f2 lens and just kind of show its profile on the X-Pro bodies from Fujifilm and I'll also show it on the XM1 who is standing in for the XE3. So you can just kind of see what this lens looks like on those bodies or on those style of bodies if they are what you have and you're interested in this slim lens. But I want to talk about size real quick right up front. Uh, this lens was just introduced in end of August, early September 2022. It's a couple weeks later. Uh, this lens measures at 30.5 millimeters from where it's mounted out to the tip. That is 1.2 inches. That is pancake territory on Fujifilm. That is actually very comparable to the Fujifilm 27mm f2.8 uh, especially with its little lens hood on which you will almost always leave on on the 27 because that's the way to put its lens cap on. Without the hood that is a tiny bit smaller but this is very much in that territory at 1.2 inches 30.5 millimeters. But interestingly, the 7 Artisan 25mm f1.8, which has been out for a while and has been in my collection uh, pretty much since I got my XE3 uh, about a year and a half ago, both of these are at infinity, so they are at their shallowest point, no lens hood. This is only a tiny bit longer. Here it is on an X-Pro one. It would be about the same on any X-Pro. This black lens only comes in black. Goes very well with the X-Pro body. These short squad lenses I think go really well with this body. This wants slim profiles to get out of the way of the, uh, the optical viewfinder. This is there in the corner a little bit, although on an X-Pro one, you will be needing to use the electronic viewfinder to focus. Uh, but I've taken this out on the X-Pro two using the optical viewfinder with the little electronic rangefinder patch, and it worked great. So this is its profile on its own. Very slim, compact. The lens hood is a very slender screw-on affair for better or worse. The nice thing about it is it helps maintain the slim profile which makes this easier to carry. Uh, one reason I like slim profile lenses is potential pocketability is one, especially on smaller bodies, but also in a small camera bag it is easier to either kind of take more lenses or to just keep this lens on the camera while carrying like a large lens like the Tamron 18 to 300 for example this could be a long and this whole thing can sit in one pocket that lens in the other a little two pocket uh, camera bag you've got a fun day downside of course to screw on lens caps they do take a little more time to take off this lens takes 43 millimeter filters, works with kind of 43 millimeter threaded anything. This means it can share filters with the Fujifilm XF23 and 35 millimeter F2 lenses, or if you get this lens in advance as kind of a low cost starting point, you can get things for it and use them on those Fujis later on if you choose to get them. It also means it can use 
TT Artisan's $10 square lens hood, which fits any 43 millimeter uh, filter mount. And there's a screw on head with a little ring on it to help you keep it square once you've got it mostly on. You can also use this on the Fujifilm 23 and 35 F2s, along with TT Artisan's 50 millimeter F2 and the 23 millimeter F1.4. So screwing this on at first, you see it doesn't go quite square. But with tightening up the little ring on it, you can get it square. You've got some protection when while carrying the lens around. You cannot put the lens hood on while it is in this mode, but this is metal. I don't think it's brass, unlike the similar lens hood for the TT Artisan M mount 28mm lens, but this is still a solid metal with the black on the black Fujifilm X Pro 1. I think this does look really cool. And this kind of black all the way through with just little bits of silver. For smaller Fujifilm rangefinder style bodies, I've got the XM1 kind of subbing in for the XE3 and XE4, which are a little bit wider, a little bit taller, but closer in size to this than they are to the X-Pro. This does still maintain a really low profile, not as slim as the little 18mm uh, body cap lens, but and very low profile. Here it is with the lens hood in this setup. So that is a quick look at the TD Artisan 25mm f2 lens very interesting lens, especially as it is selling for $55 US, which makes it one of the cheapest lenses uh, you can get on Fuji X mount, and this is available on, uh, I think, all the common APS-C mounts and Micro Four Thirds, I believe. Very low profile, and at this cost, this is definitely a great intro lens if you're starting to build up a kit. Uh, as I talk about in my finding your focal length video, uh, using these low-cost lenses really can help you determine if something around like you know the 23 to 27 millimeter range uh, on APS-C is too wide or too narrow for what you like to shoot. So this is a very cheap way to kind of test that out. Compared to the 7 Artisans 25mm f1.8, uh, I've shot that a lot over the year. That lens is a bit more finicky. It feels like it's focusing, is kind of very touchy. I do really like it. That one has distortion around the edges, but I kind of like that. My few experiences with this, this seems really solid in its shooting. This has a clicked aperture ring at the front, the 27, one, the 25 1.8 from 7 Artisans has a clickless aperture ring. Its focus wheel is in reverse. This is normal. This does seem to zone focus really well at f8 and f16. For some reason, I struggle with the Seven Artisans one to zone focus. It still seems to want to be a little more reined in. But, and this is uh, a little bit cheaper, although that one is also really cheap. Interesting that there are so many 25 millimeter lenses from these low cost uh, lens makers Seven Artisans, TT Artisan, uh, Mike but not in the normal primes, but here it is. Uh, I don't have too many photos to show from this. These were, these few were taken on uh, kind of at high noon, on a bright day in autumn. Sun's a bit too bright, 
colors are a little weird, but uh, I'm, I was impressed with the sharpness. I was experimenting with the X-Pro2, uh, shooting with the manual focus lens, using the optical viewfinder, and using the little electronic rangefinder patch, and that worked great with this lens, and these shots I think did come out pretty well. And just haven't had too much chance to shoot it yet, but I wanted to talk about it. And now apparently I want to keep rambling, but I'm going to stop here. Some pictures will follow after this. If you still tuned in, thanks for watching.